Hey Eagle Run 2-3, welcome back to the workbench. Uh, we got a little different project today. We're gonna be installing the Magpul Inbus rear sight and front sight on a um, on this rail here, this Picatinny rail. And this is a pretty easy installation job. There's no modification of any kind. This is simple uh, installation. And then we're gonna spend some time talking about uh, zeroing in your brand new sights on uh, potentially a fresh a fresh build here. So um, let's jump right into it and uh, get the installation done. So this screw uh, it comes in. I was kind of playing with it. So it comes already together like this. You've got a screw uh, with a slot or a hex there, and then your um, the recess for the nut to be held in there. Now the first time I took this off, that nut, see how it pops out, and I had to go chase it across the floor. So keep an eye on that little dude. He stays in there pretty good, but um, if you're worried about it, just go ahead and pop it out while you're installing. I think I'll just go ahead and knock it out. So also, for, for you know, I've installed these before, and for whatever reason, this, the matchup here is really tight. It's, that's, that's not typical. Uh, I was able to get it on, but that's really snug. So, um, the hole there, let's see if you can see. The hole goes all the way through, obviously, and we're trying to scoot it over until it lines up with one of the slots on our rail. And so, let me see if I can keep that lined up for you. We're just gonna push. I got my little hammer here in case I need to tap it. A little too far. Let's see if we can go back a little bit. Uh oh. All right, can you see through there? Normally you don't have to tap them. Let's see if that's gonna go through. Yeah, it does, great. Okay, so we'll get our nut into its place. Now this screw does have a little bit of, I don't know if it's a Loctite or what it is, but, well that guy's not going in there. There we go. So it's got a little bit of some coating on there. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it says in the instructions. Hey, guess what? We did not read the instructions. So I'm gonna use just a little key here. It does not come with this. I think they expect for you to use a, a screwdriver, but I feel like this is a little better option. Okay, so don't, don't crank on these. Um, you know, tight is tight. So that, that's really where I'm first feeling my tight and I'm just gonna go like, what is that, an eighth more? And that, that's all it needs. I mean, you can check on it if you feel like it's coming loose, but um, pretty good tolerance is there. And that clicks down and then when you need it, you flip it up. Now we're gonna come back uh, and talk about this and the adjustment of this uh, when we get the rear one installed. So let's flip it around here and we'll work on the other side. All right, so I have been at the range and seen these um, installed backwards. So uh, this is the way that you want it to go. It's the same for the front. They, don't, they, they go the same direction. So this points forward and then they lay down to the back. So that's, that's all there is to it. So let's see how tight this one is. Oh, this one's gonna be tight too. Darn. Let's see if we can kind of get it going in the right direction. I may need to tap it a little bit. Yeah, I have not had this problem before. Okay, we got it up where we need it. Now, what I've done here, can you see through there? Oh, I can't, there we go. All right, so we are on what is the second slot from the rear. Uh, let me see if I can show you. So this is all the way back. You would have your charging handle coming out here. And this first slot, I'm in the second one up. That way, um, I, I want to have as large of a sight picture as I can. Uh, sight picture is the wrong word. Um, I want to have as much distance between the front and rear sights as possible. The, the greater the distance is going to um, essentially lead to greater accuracy. Now, 
that being said, you know, the one who's pulling the trigger is going to be in charge of the accuracy if everything's working correctly. So um, we've got this here. Let's go ahead and tighten her down. And then we can talk about how you're going to zero this your first time at the range. All right, so there's our tight. It's almost straight. We're going to go up tight. Something like that. I think you'll feel it. This is polymer. This is plastic. So, you know, it's it's clamping itself down and it's slotted. So there's a lot of contact area in there. So you, you don't really need to, to get crazy on that. If you've noticed that they are moving on you, then you'll know you need to crank on them. And you'll have to re-zero them. So, you know, do a good job and get them tight. All right. So installation, I don't know. What that take us? A couple minutes? It's no big deal. Um... Now this little guy is important. This is the front sight adjuster tool. And the very first thing I do with this is I take a piece of paracord and look at that, I already dropped it. All right, so piece of paracord, run that through there because I don't wanna lose this. You can use string or whatever you got, it's fine. And then we're going to just tie nothing fancy here. Just an overhand knot on the end of that. And that'll make it a little bit easier to dig out of your bag. And you'll spot it if you drop it like I just did. All right, so let's talk about how we use this. All right, so uh, we've got our target here, and uh, obviously this is our bullseye here in the middle. And when you have your, let's see if we can get our front sight here. Okay, so there's our front sight. Now we want to have that front sight where the top of that post is, I'm not gonna be able to hold that steady enough for you. Let's try again. We wanna aim so that the top of that post, the bullseye, is dotting the eye with no space, right there. That's where we wanna aim for. So what that would look like here on paper is we're gonna pretend that this hex key is our, is our front sight. So that front sight right there should go right to the bullseye. That's where you wanna aim. You don't wanna cover it. it the bullet doesn't go Right here, it goes at the tip, or at least that's where we're gonna make it go. So you're gonna get your front, you're gonna get yourself installed. Um, you're gonna, I guess, take a couple of shots right away. You should be able to kind of look down uh, your bore and look down and you're gonna make sure that you're on paper. I would recommend starting pretty close. Uh, don't jump on the 100 yard range right away. Um, get yourself on paper. I, I don't know what distances your range is going to have. I got a great outdoor range right down the road from me here, and uh, they've got all sorts of different variants. They've got a 50 and a 25, and um, all sorts of stuff for rifles that are great when you're getting on paper. So the idea is to just get where you know it's going to go, and then you can kind of fine tune it. But there's a couple of rules here. One, you've got to have your post right here every single time. Make sure you're concentrating on smooth trigger pulls. Uh, nothing jerky, and if you do feel the rifle jerk, you got to throw that bullet out. So if you have a round go here, and then this round goes here, but you felt it jerk, throw that round out. Just You can just go back and shoot again, and hopefully you're relatively close. So let's assume that we are shooting high, and in this case off to the right. So if we're shooting high, what, we, what we're trying to do is make it to where the post would have been there so that we know we're accurate. So we're gonna leave our post here, and now we need to adjust our post, but do we need to adjust it up or down? It's a little bit counterintuitive, um, but we're gonna use our key, and we're gonna push this right here in the top. Let's see if we can see it. Okay, so it's gonna fit right over the top of that, and we're going to adjust ourselves. Now, the adjustments are, are, it's kind of set into what it allows to be next. 
So it's not infinitely adjustable. It's just until it gets to the next little uh, slot. So you're gonna push that down and you're gonna turn it. Now when you turn it uh, clockwise, that's going to um, tighten or lower the post and you actually have, you see where it says up? Right there, there's an arrow pointing to the left and it says up. So when you tighten that and you're lowering your post, you gotta really think about what's happening here. So if this were the barrel of our gun and we are lowering our post, you have to think about how that's adjusting where your round is gonna go. So it's opposite in the front. Does that make sense? It's opposite in the front. So what would we need to do here in order to uh, to bring that up. You're going to say, oh, I need to raise my post. Well, if you raise your post, your shots are going to go even higher the next time because you will have, if you, uh, if you raise your post, that barrel is now pointing more down. Think down range. So I actually need to lower my post to bring myself up. I hope that makes sense. So it's the opposite. Lower my post and that will bring myself where I need to be. Okay, if you have questions, um, there's probably people out here explaining this way better than me, but um, kind of giving myself a refresher because we're gonna go um, sight this thing in here at the range and uh, we wanna make sure we get on paper. So remember, we're gonna shoot three round groups. Hopefully you don't have to shoot too many groups, but you're going to, um, you're going to, uh, Screw that guy in in order to bring your post up. So lowering the post brings it up. I hope that makes sense. Don't take this, uh, don't get frustrated in this process. Sighting in a new optic on a firearm is a privilege and a treat. Don't get frustrated and don't make adjustments. Be patient. Don't make adjustments after every shot. I mean, if you're if you're a pro level and you already know your firearm and you just changed an optic and you know your trigger and you know the gun and you know the round you're shooting, maybe you could maybe you could save some ammo and just do a one round shot. You're like that that felt right and it looks like it's off. Make an adjustment. But if you find yourself chasing something, slow down, start over. Don't just start throwing up a bunch of ammo and don't get frustrated. All right. So let's talk about the rear. Now the rear is actually a little bit less tricky. So um, the, the, when the sight flips up here, the default position is the small, we, the small little hole here. This is a little peep hole here. And you have an option to flip. Let's see if we can see this. You have an option to flip this down. Now this, is a, this is brand new, it's super tight. So you flip this little guy down, so now it looks like that. And you can see your aperture is even bigger. So now you got a big one. This would be for closer, less precision. And then you flip that guy back up. It's tight. And there you are for your longer longer distance, 100 yards, whatever. Um, I, shooting with what's considered iron sights, polymer sights, Shooting with iron sights, you're, you're, you know, it's not gonna, it's not the same as your your bolt action deer deer rifle. Um, we're striving to be accurate, but we're not splitting hairs here with accuracy. Um, now, obviously, put some work in, and you can you can do better. Um, right here is our windage to adjust for left and right. So in the case that we had right here, where our bullets were off to the side, the rear is the same. So we. We think about if we're um, swinging this this way. So in, if our if our uh, if we're right there, we need to swing so that we can hit we can catch those where they're supposed to be. If that makes sense. So um, here on the side, your right, these have there's a little ball detent, and if you see these notches, that is all the adjustment that you have. There's no in between adjustment there. So you're going to have um, a click, and thankfully it's, it's pretty fine. So it doesn't move very far. So I'm um, set up here just, looks like I'm pretty much just center on that line. Boy, my light's no good right there. Let's see if we can get a little better light. There we are. So my line here is lining up pretty much dead on. That's how I've got it set out of the box. We'll see 
you know, what it does um, at the range. So, all right. Fun to uh, play with some new things here on the workbench. Uh, we're gonna get this um, all put back together and I'll probably follow up with you and let you know how we did. All right, Eagle Run 2-3, thanks for watching.